Oh, technology. Sometimes I get overwhelmed by all this stuff. It makes me crazy. I was trying to do a smooth introduction and not push that timer thing again, but I hit it again and look at it showed up. So what in the heck am I going to talk about today? I don't know. I just kind of decided to do this, uh, my little morning show, because I like going online and talking with my friends or talking to my friends, my Facebook friends. And um, I think I was going to talk a little bit about magic. I was going to talk a little about uh, politics and the debate. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> Stick around. Um, I was going to talk a little bit about, um, did I say magic tricks already? Home improvement. I was going to, I just saw um, my old friend, Steve. I used to visit him over at the farmer's market and he used to, still does exhibit in the home, home improvement design expos that I used to produce with my uh, ex-business partner, Rick, the expo guy. And um, I just saw his stuff on there, Steve, the window guy. So I was going to talk about home improvements a little bit and I'll probably talk about affiliate marketing and self-employment, a little bit of that. If you want to leave any comments or whatever below, I'll uh, answer some questions. Maybe you might want to come on here with me. If you want to join me, um, I can uh, share a link. I'll send it to you in Facebook Messenger. Or um, if this is the replay, you can join me for our own. We'll do one in the future. So what should I talk about first? One of the first things, one of the first things I'll show you is, see my little magic lounge thing here? I'll show you some of my magic tricks. Oh, by the way, this is something I got from my friend Bo. This is a little miniature briefcase. This is so cute, isn't this? It's got a little handle on it. It's a little miniature briefcase. And you open it up, look inside, and nothing's in there. <laughs> but what it's for, it's for um, business cards. So this is a cool little thing that he gave me, mailed it to me, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that program too. And by the way, if you would, if you're able to get on my YouTube channel, go on to YouTube channel and subscribe, subscribe, and give me a little thumbs up. And while you're on there, too, go to that, uh, that notification bell. There's a little bell there, and you'll get notifications of my uh, future videos if you want to see them. And for those that don't know, what I do is I talk about self-employment and affiliate marketing. And I used to talk more about the event world, but since the COVID thing came along, it all stopped. So that's changed a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to show you, let me slide over here. I've got this cabinet right here. And inside the cabinet are some magic tricks. So let me open up the cabinet and I'll show you some of them. So I've got my laptop computer here. I'll just take it and pick it up and bring the camera right over. And I'll show you some of the stuff. This is a cool little thing my friend Ron, Ron Orr found for me. This is a little bank and you put a coin on here and you push the little button and the magician takes it and covers it up. And then when you lift it up, the coin is gone. <gasps> magic. <laughs> so here's another little thing I got going on here. This is my little magic display cabinet. Up here, my little magic Brad display. We got some little knickknacks. Here's a little, a little wizard and a little bunny in the hat. This is a magic box. This is with a little lock on it. Dun, 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 dun. I can explain it. Someday I'll do it for you. Okay, that's a little magic box. These are a collection of cups. There's a classic in magic called the cups and the balls. It's kind of like the three shell game. And they come in sets of three. So this is a, a set I got early on. This is a brushed aluminum. And then you go over up here. This is a set that I made in high school. I actually made these in high school. I kind of drilled it out and made it on the lathe. So this is a, made out of walnut. Walnut cups, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and then I've got another set down here that I, I don't know what these are made out of, but it's probably some kind of like, they're kind of hard, maybe oak or something, or I don't know my woods, but these, these are made out of wood also. Little wooden cups. And 
This is a miniature miniature die box. It, uh, it's a little trick with a with a die and these little doors in here, little miniature doors. See, there's another one in there. Hard to do this with one hand. What happens is this die in here, it goes, it's inside the box. You can hear it inside the box. And then it disappears and goes someplace else. This is a really cool routine that I've just got all packaged up. It's just a, a, a leather tube with some coins. And I haven't worked on that for a while. And this is a finger guillotine. You see, you lift this up. See, it'll, it'll go in there, it'll chop your finger off. You put your finger in there. I'm not going to do it because that's dangerous. But you put your finger in there like that. And when you push that little thing down, the little. Oh gosh. See the little blade right there? That little blade. And then it goes through this thing and it'll chop your finger. Doesn't really doesn't really chop it. <laughs> it's an illusion. So there's that. That's my little magic thing. So for those of you that are watching and don't know, that's what I did out of high school. I was a professional magician. After I took a job out of high school, I worked for the Anoka County Parks Department and worked a few years and got laid off. And I didn't like that idea of not being in control of my own destiny. I didn't like getting laid off of a job that I thought I had. So I went in and became a full-time magician, and that's what got me in the event business. That was back in the 70s, 80s, 90s. And here we are in the 20s. And it's a whole new world, isn't it? What are we in? 2021, right? Coming up. That's bizarre. <laughs> so what else do I want to talk about today? That's my little magic thing. I like talking about the marketing element of things and uh, because that's what makes uh, the money come in so you can buy things and enjoy your life. So let me talk a little bit about affiliate marketing and what it is. For those that don't know, affiliate marketing is simply being the middleman between a product and a customer. It's really no different than like a real estate agent. Real estate agents got a house and they're selling it to somebody that wants to own the house. And the real estate agent is in the middle and they take a commission. That's kind of what affiliate marketing is. So that makes it as simple as possible. Amazon is a big affiliate program. They got all sorts of products and merchants and people got all this, these products on here. And then people that are prospective customers go on to, on to Amazon, this big giant digital shopping mall, and they type in what they're looking for and they buy it. And then Amazon takes commission, takes a little piece of it. They take a little percentage, shave it off the ends. So that's in a nutshell what affiliate marketing is. Some people get it all confused with the multi-level marketing and network marketing and all that kind of stuff, even though the, a lot of those programs are getting to be like hybrids. They're getting to be blends of these kind of things. So what you end up doing is it's sort of commission-based sales, but you're building a team around you, which is similar to, I believe, um, Keller Williams Real Estate. I think they kind of do that kind of thing. It's like a, like a broker. Then you get a bunch of agents under you and you earn a commission of their commissions. So that's kind of what's happening in this world is a lot of these things is uh, people are pulling together agencies and things and and then they outsource jobs to other people and they take a little slice off it. They take a little percentage. It's really no different than real life. So that's what affiliate marketing is. And by the way, this uh, product that uh, Bo, Bo, my friend Bo Young sent me this little box here along with this coffee cup this is a coffee cup from uh when i had my synergy cafe show and now i'm doing the magic brad show i'm gonna do a little shameless self self plug here dun, dun, dun. the magic brad show.com that's the magic brad show.com and uh, i've rebranded from the synergy cafe over to promoting myself as magic brad so those that don't know, that's where the magic comes from. It's uh, because I started doing magic when I was a little kid, and it just kind of stuck. That's my internet name, magicbrad.com. And if you go to magicbrad.com, you'll see a lot of uh, um, 
I'm going to put the Magic Brad show. If you want to do an interview with me, I do video marketing and promote people's businesses out. And right now what I'm doing is I'm working with people in the home improvement and the real estate world. And the reason for that is I'm getting into some affiliate programs that involve uh, the whole uh, solar industry, mostly down south in the sunny states. But that's something that I'm building up. And here's how you get a hold of me, magicbrad.com. You can see some of the other affiliate programs that I'm promoting. I promote multiple products and services for those that don't know. And here's how you get a hold of me, contact magicbrad.com. That goes right to my mobile phone if you want to call me up and talk. Or you can click and go on to Facebook Messenger and we can communicate that way. But that's up to you. Scooby-Doo. So what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. This is a customer service kind of thing. So what happens, these are nice little solid cups, and I was looking for a new good mug to carry my coffee in. But Bo set this set this up, and um, I'm promoting this too. It's, all, it's called Banner Season, for those that don't know. And what I like about it is it's got the products. That's easy breezy to be able to send somebody a gift or a or they've got uh, brownies and coffee and things that you can send people, sleeves of golf balls imprinted with their logo and little slogans. But Bo did this for me. It says, best marketing legend ever. So he's stroking my ego. See, Magic Brad. He's stroking my ego and <laughs> trying to make me like him. I do like Bo. He's a good guy. And you'll see some of our videos because we're promoting this, uh, this service. And if you want uh, to know more about it, you can. Connect, connect with me. Or, by the way, you can, this is what I cool, I really like about this uh, StreamYard platform that I'm using for video, is if you want to uh, get a free account and try this service out where you can get all these little things and there's more. Hang on a sec. But wait, there's more. <laughs> more little gifts that Bo sent me. He sent me this big giant uh, glass, thermal, it's, it's thermal, it's aluminum, I think, and it's got my logo on it again. And then he sent me these coasters so that I don't screw up our tables here. That's also got my logo on it. And because I was rebranding, he also got this Synergy Cafe one here too. So we got two Synergy Cafe coasters, and they're nice little cork, cork back coasters and shiny and smooth. So I can use that to put my little coffee mugs on here, just like that. And this also came with a with a card. He sent a little card with my name on it. So what that does, it ends up really branding the uh, person. So I think that's pretty cool. So that's the marketing element of things. I want to see if I got a. I got a comment on here. It's Teresa. How are you? She says it's a great video. This is my friend Teresa. Do do do. Proof right there. I do great videos. Thank you, Teresa. <laughs> I appreciate it. So, hey, you know, can't do this in person. Going to AGC events anymore right now. We're doing it all Zoom. You can't go to BNI events. You can't can't go to a football game. You can't go to the expos. We're all in COVID quarantine, so we're going to Zoom. We're not Zoom. This is called StreamYard. I wonder if I even got a link for that. Oh, Teresa's still there. Thanks again. There she says, great. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's a good word. Great. Oh, this is another mug I got. This isn't related to this, but this is my magic mug. Ooh. And let me show you something I was doing for a while. It was kind of fun. I was taking pennies because, you know, pennies, they're kind of like not worth anything anymore. I heard that it even costs more money to make a penny than what it's worth. But um, I don't understand the whole thing, but you kind of got to have them. You have to have them to keep the economy flowing. But what I did is I increased the value of these pennies by on the other side, I put a little peace sign on them. See, a little peace sign. So I took time to paint each one of these pennies. And when I go in and have coffee and stuff, I leave these pennies in their uh, in their tip jars with some quarters 
and a dollar or whatever. I'm not, I'm not penny cheap, but I figured I would increase the value of pennies by putting a peace sign on them. So, because I think peace is valuable. Anyways, baby cakes, I've been going uh, for 15, almost 16 minutes. I'm going to shut, shut this one off. If you, uh, I was going to talk about some other things, but I can't, I forgot. Oh, I was going to talk about the debate. I don't even want to talk about the debate. That was uh, crazy. Uh, politics. I didn't want to get into politics. Heck with politics. Um, I'm going to focus on my own life. But someday we can have a conversation about politics if we want to. I really don't want to. <laughs> I think it's a joke. Both sides. I'm. Uh, everybody should just get along. So that's my closing message. What's this? Peace is valuable. Yes, it is. You know, a lot of people don't, on that topic, a lot of people don't understand what peace is. When they do these peaceful protests and they're carrying a bullhorn and screaming in people's ears, that is not peaceful. <laughs> That's not peaceful. I don't want to talk about the debate either. No, it's just a joke. It's just a, a thing that they do on the TV so you get ratings so they can sell advertising because that's what makes the world go round, money or exchange of energy. It's not for the love of money. It's just one of these things that we use to measure our energy output so that we can do things like back in the day, you know, I lit a fire and then uh, we got cold out. So we had to make a blanket and you wanted to buy the blanket. So you gave me some wood for my fire and we did a little trade. Well, now it's called money. That's how they do it. So, that's it. That's all I got for you. We're not going to talk about politics. Let's talk about peace. Let's be kind, be nice, be friendly, and do good things. And um, send people gifts. <laughs> Season four giving. Sign up for your free account. Okay, that's it. I got to turn that off. Click. I'm back. Magicbrad.com. Okay, be well. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going on at uh, – I found a new program – to go video with people that you don't even know and just meet them via video. It's called lunchtime or something like that. If you want to know more about it, let me know. I'm just trying it. This is my first little get together at one o'clock. I'm connecting with somebody around lunchtime at one o'clock. Okay, be well. Gabbing too much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, please. <laughs>